showing you this weapon ribbon trail. First open content browser. This static machine made by my brother in Maya software. For open content browser, in here, I downloaded this water texture and in Photoshop, I converted this into black and white picture. Like this, open content browser, right click, uh, create a new material, name it uh, M underscore race, open it, in blend mode take translucency, in shading mode take unblade and tick on two sides, in here, Right click take and particle color, connect this to emission color, drag and drop this noise texture. Now in here take and multiply, connect this to multiply and connect this to texture sample to this multiply. In here, right click, take and panner, connect this to UVs. In here, take and multiply, connect this to panner. Now, in here, right click, texture coordinate, connect this to multiply. The multiply B. Take append vector. In here, right click, take dynamic parameter. In here, name it X and Y. I connect this Y to here and X to here. Move this here. Here, take and texture coordinator, mask, um, and in mask, uh, tick off G. Now, from mask, take a one minus. Uh, move this so here. Now from 1 minus take power and from power take up multiply now connect this to multiply B connect this R to multiply and connect this multiply this multiply now again copy this to paste here now in mask uh, tick on G and tick off this R and from mask take a sign and from sign take multiply Now connect this sign to B and connect this multiply to here and connect this multiply to here. Now in here select this sign, in here take 2, connect this multiply to opacity. Apply and 
and open content browser. In here, right click, create a new graph, fountain, uh, name it NS Race, and open it. In here, delete sprite render. In render, add a ribbon render. Apply this material to here. Now delete scale, color, drag, gravity force, and add velocity and shape location. In font rate, take hundred, and in initialize particle. In lifetime mode, take direct set. In here, take unset. And in ribbon width, take a direct set. Now ribbon width is hundred. In particle spawn, add add velocity. Now in here in velocity take a minus five hundred. And in particle update take a scale ribbon width. In here click on this arrow take a float from curve. In here make this the key zero and make this one time is a point five. Take auto, uh, adjust it. Now again in particle update, add dynamic material parameter. In here take a 0.5 and 0.5. In particle update, add only color. Click on this arrow. Take a color from curve. In here, open, double click on it. Uh, take any color like orange, and again move this here. Uh, yes, here. Double click and open it. Take any color like pink. Now again open it. In here, take ten. It makes the color bright. Again in here, take fifty. Okay. Uh, something is wrong. Go to add velocity. In here, change this. No, velocity is not wrong. I think uh, in material uh, is wrong. Oh yes, uh, I forget the panel values. In here, take minus five. Oh, it's too fast. Or take minus one. Yes, you can adjust the param values by yourself. Apply and go to Niagara. Yes, sir. Niagara is working. Now again, duplicate this emitter. Uh, in dynamic material parameter, in here take a point two. Yes, sir. compile. No, no, no. Save. Go to third person map. Play and see. Yes, sir. Our weapon ribbon trail is over. And thank you for watching CD Gaming Channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.